Hi, this is Susan Brewer. We're at the Design Center at Blooming Daisy Marketplace in Cuttleville, Missouri. We're going to talk a little bit today about design. As a realtor, I'm entrusted with people spending um, hundreds of thousands of dollars on their investment, and sometimes their biggest investment, their home. The next question that people ask is, how do I enhance my home to bring more value to the table if I decide to sell it now or in the future? A lot of that has to do with choices. Today's trends are that people use a designer, a stager, an interior designer. Some furniture stores offer designers uh, to assist with the selections in the furniture as well as accessories. Most folks today will entrust their homes to a, an interior designer or into a design company to help them make the right decisions for their future, whether it is to sell or to love their houses. Today, Carol Keeling with CK Designs, with over 25 years of experience in interior design, is here to tell us a little bit about the biggest question folks ask, and that's about paint. Carol, yes. can I get some input from you on today's trends or suggestions that you would help if people are thinking about selling or loving their home again? Today's trends have flipped completely from what they were eight to 10 years ago. So if you're, for instance, putting your house on the market and you haven't updated for eight to 10 years, one of the things that you would want to do is to neutralize your home and in the last eight to 10 years, things have completely gone towards from warm, from stained cabinets, from a lot of browns, a lot of dark colors, to very clean grays and whites. And that is the best way to update, but you have to be careful because if you're not going, if you're selling your home and you're not gonna change your cabinets and you're not gonna change your granite, you have to come up with my solution is paint. Right. And it's the, the least expensive way to freshen your house. The colors I recommend to clients, there's two of them. One of them is a Pittsburgh paint. It is called moth gray, and it has a chameleon effect. It can look gray, but it can look warm too. A color I recommend for people that do have a lot of white and lightness and want some gray is my favorite, and it is a Sherwin-Williams paint, and it's called Colonnade Gray. I also recommend that you paint the entire house the same color. Perfect. It really helps start a clean slate, um, people coming in and looking at your home. The cleaner, the fresher, the better. Well, Carol's been in the business for 25 years. I've been in the business for 19 years. So we saw these trends change. We saw builders start to do color design centers. Now as a realtor, we see the value in offering a design center to our clients, whether it be someone who is looking to invest in their current home or looking to enhance their home for sale. Carol's gonna share some colors with you so that you can kind of see some of the avenues that she really thinks is the trend and what you should consider if you're going to make a change. For us, we're also gonna to highlight today a beautiful home here in St. Charles County. This home offers everything someone could be looking for. It's going to be an in-ground pool, an outdoor kitchen, uh, three levels of living, all kinds of beautiful things on a golf course commun in a golf course mm -hmm. community. That's 9011 Spy Glass Hill, and that is in O'Fallon, Missouri. Thank you, and we hope that you enjoy all of the details that this house uh, shows for you and all of the different things that a designer can assist you with, whether it be paint, lighting, countertops, cabinets, or flooring. Always look to a professional to assist you, to get you to love that house that you've invested in. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, this is Russ Miller with New American Funding. If you've recently purchased a home in the St. Louis area, there could be huge opportunity for you. 
I recently ran an example of a home purchased just four years ago using an FHA mortgage. Sales price, $280,000. It should appraise today for around $335,000. And that's a lot of equity. The problem is your FHA mortgage always has monthly mortgage insurance. So the opportunity here is to refinance out of an FHA mortgage into a conventional loan, possibly reducing term. So with reduced rate, reduced or no mortgage insurance, you could save thousands of dollars of interest on your loan over the life. We'll see you next week. All right, that's all for today's show, The American Dream Legacy. Hey, if you wanna comment on this show, if you wanna follow us on social media, we would love to hear from you. Visit us online at americandreamnetwork.tv. Follow us there. And of course, don't forget to tune into our next episode of The American Dream. See you next time. Hey, Craig Sewing here. As you know, on the American Dream, our goal is to educate, empower, and engage your American Dream. Make sure you reach out if you ever need advice. Visit us online at AmericanDreamNetwork.tv. We'd love to hear from you.